At this point, it is important to understand the topic of parthenogenesis or self-pregnancy. As in the next video, I will give you the more detailed story of Svaru and Yashi, in which you will get to understand how the self-pregnancy subject relates to them. It is not limited to them, as it is not uncommon in the Tigetan society. But if you understand how it works, you will have a better understanding of how Svaru's come to be. A follower asked me if I could explain to her how, for example, you are your own mother, and also how you can have the consciousness of your mother, or have your consciousness in various places. In other words, explain a little more the process of self-pregnancy and the multiple consciousnesses. A body is a mirror of a soul. It is designed to work with a specific soul and is compatible in terms of exact frequencies. It is like a radio that is tuned to the frequency of your soul. Therefore, if the radio body is duplicated, both bodies will receive the signal from the source or the same soul. It is only necessary to change the point of attention between one body and another as in focusing the eyes, for example, on something and then something else. It takes practice, but it can be done. This is nothing strange and is very common on our planet. The telepathy is also the cause. You have this also on Earth and in other places as well. On Earth, this phenomenon is manifested in identical twins, who are the same person, the same soul, just that the body has doubled. Identical twins on Earth have a strong connection to each other, because they are the same soul in two bodies at the same time. It is only the suppression of telepathy due to the destructive matrix frequencies that prevents you from passing your consciousness entirely from one to another, which in itself means that there is neither one nor the other, only one in two bodies or more. The Tigetan body in both men and women has a hormonal concentration 400% higher than in humans. This accentuates the physical qualities that define the genders. The body of the Tigetan woman is prepared to reproduce in three ways. A. By normal sexual insemination. A sperm fertilizes an egg in exactly the same way as it happens on Earth. B. The Tigetan woman's body can retain sperm from her sexual partner or partners in her ovaries to later be used, causing a pregnancy even decades after her last sexual contact. C. When the circumstances are favorable, the body of a Tigetan woman that contains 12 strands of DNA and 24 chromosomes can activate one of its ovules that will complete the DNA with that of the mother, getting fertilized. This causes pregnancy or self-pregnancy at any time in the woman's life. The baby only contains the mother's DNA, therefore it can only be female and an exact copy or natural clone of the mother. This causes the baby to have 100% adematic compatibility with the mother, so the same consciousness operates in both bodies. The mother's clone baby is, by definition, 
the mother once again. Regarding points B and C, this is caused by a mental state of the mother with a very strong desire to have a son or daughter, and is often caused by a very great loneliness or the inability to find a partner. By having 12 strands, 24 chromosomes, the self-filling capacity of genetic material in the ovules is very latent and has been seen in multiple species where one sex prevails over the other and is also due to the fact that the body constantly regenerates at an almost 100% level by the proliferation of stem cells in the Tigetan body well above the human average. In point B, this is caused by a mental state of the mother because the control of consciousness over the body is very high. In the event that a woman has had sexual intercourse at some point in her life, it would cause that by causing self-pregnancy in a probability greater than 90%, the product or baby will be the son or daughter of the couple or of a sexual partner who the mother has had at some point in her life, no matter how far back in time it has been. So the sexual partner of each Tigetan is an extremely delicate issue as it has consequences in the future that could also affect other future relationships. The sexual issue is very delicate for the women of Tageta, as they must choose their partners with extreme care. In section C, this is caused more than anything by great stress on the part of the mother usually for reasons of extreme loneliness and occurs almost exclusively in virgins. This can also be seen as a measure of the species for trying to perpetuate itself, even in the absence of the opposite gender. What happens in Part C is called parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis is not known in humans. Apparently, DNA is not complete enough to complete itself, creating a complete ovum capable of duplicating itself to create another living being. If this seems strange to you, the way that Diesian Tiplex or Cturians reproduce is even stranger. Diesli and Tiplex don't have genders, they just are. There are no males or females, they all self-replicate. Their DNA is strange and very complex. When their body reaches a certain maturity and without the person having any control over it, a new Diesli and Tiplex being will begin to develop in a kind of a bag similar to the one that kangaroos have. It takes a long time, relative, to develop, years, relative. When the little being reaches sufficient maturity, the parent begins to die as the little one consumes it from within. At the same time, the consciousness of the original being is progressively passed to the little one. When it is ready to come out of the bag, its consciousness leaves the original self and continues its life with the new body, leaving the original or previous one to die without consciousness in a few hours after its birth. The new being, the little one, has 100% of the consciousness and memory of the original and at birth is 100% independent.
When the Taigetan women are to give birth, when they have a daughter, where do they have it? In their homes or in a hospital? There are places like hospitals where you can go, mostly if there is a problem. But one usually does it at home, underwater. Okay, how interesting. Under which criteria is a name given? When I had myself, I was alone because I was in a remote area. It was quite difficult for me. I remember this being my mother. Our names are energetically more connected to us than on Earth, where names are given from control agenda stories. With us, the names are taken from how the adamatic soul lineage of the person in question can be interpreted. But it is normal for the same person to change his or her name later in life. Thank you, Swaru. It is a very interesting reply. Then you don't have last names? No, we don't have last names. The name is unique with the base planet or origin. We are not so many as to require a last name. But my name, for example, is a contraction of a longer and more complex one. Thanks again. To soothe the childbirth pain, do you use anesthesia or how do you do it to not feel the pain from the childbirth? In certain cases, anesthesia is used. In my case, I did not. Okay, thank you. Having a child in your society, what does it imply in addition to responsibility? It implies the same in terms of responsibility. There is also a responsibility for trying to make the Tigetan species not go extinct. Unlike Ummo, for example, there is no birth control here as government rules, because we have no government. There is only birth control for personal reasons. Thank you.